the Asian Apprenticeship Awards 2018 in association with the Royal Air Force. Apprenticeship Awards in association with RAF. We've come together today for a joint single cause, and that's to improve lives through skills and work. And I thank you all for contributing by coming here tonight and supporting each other and supporting the Asian Apprenticeship Awards. Tonight we celebrate the success of individuals who have chosen a different path to the norm. They've shown tenacity, commitment and courage to do something they believe in. They've gone against the grain. They are challenging the social norms of their community. Something which is no light-hearted task, especially when your parents are expecting a lot more. What is this? What? Ah, ha, ha, ha. What, he got a B in classical studies. He got a B? <laughs> it doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. My son got a B. <laughs> One. Still, it's a B. He could have got all A's. Mr. Sinha's son got all A's. But my son had to get a B. Mr. Sinha's son only did two A-levels. Our son did five in one sitting. He's the first in his school ever to do that. Really? Yes. Then he is going to school full of idiots. How am I going to keep my head up in the community? Hmm? My son got a B. <laughs> he got the grades to do medicine at Cambridge. He is doing medicine at Cambridge? Yes! Idiot! <laughs> he should be doing PhD! <clears throat> so I'm sure some of the older generation may relate to this video from the classical program, Goodness Gracious Me. But there's an important message there. And I think the message is that academic studies have always had this um, it's always been very important to British Asian parents what their children are doing in the community. They've always wanted to talk proudly that you know their, their son's gone to so-and-so university and they're doing medicine, they're doing law, they're doing some sort of professional degree at university and it's always something that they've always boasted about and been very proud about. Um, however, the problem is no one ever talks about my child did an apprenticeship, they're now working for a blue chip company. Apprenticeships are not talked about, and, and this is the problem we face within the British Asian community. Even when apprenticeships are considered, there is not enough information for those families to make an informed decision about whether or not they should, their child should take up an apprenti apprenticeship. For those of you who joined us last year, you will remember we illustrated some of these issues. Our lovely host, Susie Mann, took to the streets of Birmingham and went round and spoke to young individuals and some of the older generation also to find out what they really thought about apprenticeships. Do I know what an apprenticeship is? Um, probably no. Um, I've heard about it, do you know, um, but no, not really. I've, um, I've never Googled it or anything like that. I do know it's more for people that don't want to be academic, I guess. I don't think there was much information. It wasn't broadcasted enough, like advertised enough to us as a student. It's more word of mouth. I didn't know that many people were doing apprenticeships, so then I didn't have like uh, advice. I didn't consider no, an apprenticeship, but I would have if I knew more about it. But with my parents, they were more like, um, go to university, go to college, and you won't really get into anything with an apprenticeship. People go to university. All the people that I know, all the people I look up to, role models, they all went to university. I don't know many people that have done apprenticeship and came out with something amazing. A university is more of a safer route. That's why we tend to go for the more of a university route than the apprenticeship. And that's about it. Like, we feel like it's not as paid well as a graduate role. And we seem to think that for some reason, university is the, the actual answer. But I personally, right now, these days, I think the kids that go and do apprenticeship are more successful than actually going to universities. I know people who are actually doing driving taxis with degrees. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's clear we need more role models, more information and more choice for people to make informed decisions that will hopefully lead to a change in cultural practices. Every apprentice in the room today is a role model, <coughs> sorry, a role model for future generations. Be proud of who you are and be proud of the decisions you've made. There will always be change in the sector. It will always be tough. 
We will always face challenges. However, let's not forget we are all making a difference and we will continue to do so together. We are united in our goal and through continuous collaboration, support, we can bring out the best in each other while we carry on empowering individuals through skills and work. Uh, for a long time, I've worried about the fact that in this country, we're very good at saying academic education is good and, and for everybody, but we've never put sufficient emphasis on technical or vocational education. So do you think there's a certain snobbery around university education? I'm afraid, I'm afraid I think there's, you know, for some people, they sort of think technical education is the sort of thing that happens to other people's children right. and not their own. I think we've got to break this, this sort of old-fashioned attitude that there's only one way through. Well, I think, first of all, we need to, we need to get rid of this sort of stigma that attaches to technical education. Mm. We need to say, to get people saying, actually, let's see what, what a young person's skills are, what their interests are, what their abilities are, what's going to be right for them. Is it right for them to go to university? Or is it right for them perhaps to do an apprenticeship? That could be a degree apprenticeship or a, a technical education at FE college. What, what suits each individual? Let's get that into people's thinking first. <laughs> So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Apprenticeships deliver. It's time to change the tone. It's time that we start talking about apprenticeships, not being for other people, but being a choice for all. Echoing the words of our Prime Minister, we need to get rid of the stigma attached to apprenticeships. We need to see what each individual skill sets are and see what the best route for them is. A huge congratulations to everyone in the room today, and especially those finalists. You've done extremely well to be here this evening, and I personally have read through many of your applications, and I've seen some of the great stories that are there. And I was in the judging room at the time, and I heard a lot of the conversations, and a lot of the fantastic things that you guys are doing, not just within your apprenticeship, but outside of your work. And you all do deserve a huge round of applause for that, because it's amazing. Asian Apprenticeship Awards 2018 in association with the Royal Air Force.